This is an example taken from our textbook for uh, temperature coefficient, and it reads as follows. A coil of wire has resistance of 14 ohms at 20 degrees Celsius. The resistance of the coil reaches 45 ohms when the temperature increases to 165 degrees Celsius. Determine the temperature coefficient of the resistance of the wire at 20 degrees Celsius. So as you can see, we need to calculate temperature coefficient. Our first resistance is uh, 14 ohms. Our second and final resistance is 45 ohms. Our initial temperature, let's call it T1, is 20 degrees Celsius. And our final temperature, let's call that T2, is 165 degrees Celsius. Now, before we start calculating, let me just remind you of the formulas we will be using. Okay, so first of all, to calculate the resistance, it is equal to 1 plus the temperature coefficient minus the final temperature. And to calculate the final temperature is T2 minus T1. But now in this instance, we have to calculate temperature coefficient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say R1 over R2 is equal to 1 plus the temperature coefficient multiplied by the initial temperature. Okay, and that will be over 1 plus the initial temperature coefficient times our final temperature which we can call t2 all right so that's our formula we're going to use let's substitute those values and see if we can work that out okay so if we substitute those values uh r1 is 14 ohms r2 is 45 ohms and we have on this side 1 plus 20 degrees which is our initial temperature times the temperature coefficient over 1 plus 165 degrees which is our final temperature multiplied by the temperature coefficient okay so 14 divided by 45 gives us 0, 0,311 and let me just rewrite this side of the equation 1 plus the initial temperature times the temperature coefficient over 1 plus 165 times the temperature coefficient Okay, so this part over here, we're going to take to the other side. 1 plus 165 is a division sign. So if we take it across, it will become a multiply. So we'll have uh, 0, 0,311 multiply by 1 plus 165 degrees times the temperature coefficient. And on this side, we will have 1 plus 20 times the temperature coefficient. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply our bracket. 0,311 times 1 will give you 0,311. And then 165 times 0,311, that will give us a smaller value. So let's write that there. We get uh, 0,311 plus, that gives us 51,315. And multiply by the temperature coefficient. Okay, on this side, we still have our other equation, 1 plus 20 degrees times the temperature coefficient. All right, so we're going to simplify. I'm um, going to take this 1, uh, this 0, 0,311, we take it to the opposite end, becomes minus, and 51,315. If we take 20 across, it will become minus. So if we simplify that, we end up with, 31,315 multiplied by the temperature coefficient. And on this side, we will have 0,689. So just to get the temperature coefficient on its own, 0,689 divided by 31,315. That means that our temperature coefficient is going to be 0,0229 degrees Celsius. Okay, thank you.